You can have as much possession of the ball, and if you make lots of chances and you don't convert, 1-0 is never enough to win a game until the final whistle arrives. So uh, we're, that's a much better point for us than Switzerland, uh, and I was delighted that uh, it was a great goal, great header, Kiefer Moore, but uh, yeah, it was a much better point for us than Switzerland. Yeah, there's no question that Switzerland will be kicking themselves. You know, they had so much of the ball, they created so many decent mm. chances without that real cutting edge in the final third. And that's really where it comes to, you know, a football match is one in the two boxes, both defensively and offensively. And we saw that clearly today where Wales was comfortable defending at times, mm. also under pressure at times, getting yeah. pushed further and further back. But they held on mm. and they gave themselves an opportunity for later in the match to be able to find an equalizer. Yeah. And then as they, you saw a couple times even after they equalized, they tried to get more progressive, yeah. and Switzerland got through them and created some good chances late and went, hold on, wait a minute here. Yeah. A point's good for us. Mm -hmm. and, and, and give Wales some credit. Anybody who's ever played for a club that's fighting for mid-table to stay in the league understands when you play against a side that's a little bit better than you are, how do you get a result? What well, you're going to see by the, the reaction from the guys after the game, look, it's, it's like we've won because we were 1-0 down you know, against a good Swiss, Swiss team, but... As soon as Switzerland scored, that's when Wales came back into the game. Uh, and now we're, we're celebrating that like we won it. So it's a much better point. And this us. is a familiar celebration from, yes. from Euro 2016. <laughs> We've seen this before from, from Wales. But it's also in the, in the context, in, in looking at the result, in the context of, of what's happening next. Because Switzerland are going to be playing Italy. And it could come down... If, if the sides or the three sides draw against each other, this could come down to comparing results against Italy. Well, that's why three goals that they've conceded against Turkey, f f uh, against Italy, sorry, Turkey is really bad for them and it's still wide open this group. We, we all agree that Italy will win it, we think. But what's important is the next game. Switzerland have to play Italy. Wales have got a great chance if they get three points against Turkey, then that is absolutely fantastic and that could be enough then to send us through. But we were talking off camera how was Italy that good or was Turkey maybe <laughs> not quite up to the level? And it, with this result, what that does for Turkey is it says, you know what, we're, we're right in this. We, if we can rebound and Italy were really that good, we can come up against either of these two sides and find ourselves mm -hmm. in a good position. And that's why Switzerland, I think, will be even more disappointed knowing they had three points. This result almost not lets Turkey off the hook from the Italian result, but it just gives them a good chance. Turkey will be thinking, if we beat Wales, we are right back in the mix. Look, we all talk about hope, and, and, and that gives... Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.